Greetings everybody, this is the Starving Martian. How you doing? Today we are taking a look at Mars Attacks Masterpieces, a five card chase set from the uh, Mars Attacks Invasion card set put out way back in 2013. So, um, as you guys probably know, Mars Attacks Invasion excellent card set uh it had several subsets or chase sets uh cards that were difficult to find and um that you really need if you want to claim to have a complete mars attacks invasion uh collection and you know when you buy mars attacks invasion as a set online uh sometimes you actually find sellers that will bundle all of the um chase sets together and if you can afford that it's more expensive but if you can afford that that's definitely the way to go unfortunately i am a collector on a budget so i often end up buying the cheapest package i could find and then patching in the holes later on and so i just recently acquired mars attacks uh masterpieces it's a five card subset and what you're looking at right now is a card called underwater slaughter which is as fun to say as it is to look at. Uh, this is a card um, that was uh, drawn and painted by a man named Ron Spears. And uh, I'm going to be telling you the artist on each of these cards because that seems to be the theme. On the back of the cards, and yeah, it's going to be hard for you to read on my camera, but um, pretty much all you get is a uh, brief bio on the particular artist and the name of the card. So, uh, what's going on here, how it fits into the main Mars Attacks Invasion storyline, if indeed it even does, is left to the imagination. So, this is Underwater Slaughter. Um, very nice picture. I like the fact that the skeleton still has his eyeballs. I don't know why, but that amuses me. Uh, you know what would have been kind of cool, though, is if it still had flesh, like, underneath the goggles. That would have been kind of cool, but whatever. Um, the uh, artist here, Ron Spears, did contribute a few cards to the Mars Attacks Invasion. Um, the interesting thing is not all these cards, not all the, uh, these artists did. It's only he and the last one we'll be looking at. As far as I can tell, I might have missed something. Uh, it's entirely possible with me. But um, as far as I could tell, the um, next couple coming up have never contributed to Mars Attacks before. But uh, that doesn't mean they didn't do a good job. Here's card number two. Babes to Slaughter by a gentleman by the name of Dan Brerton. Brerton? I don't know. It looks like there's too many R's and E's in there. But um, this is Babes to Slaughter. And you can see that uh, they definitely got the, uh, the chaos and the um, <laughs> uh, mayhem of Mars Attacks down. This guy's wearing a human skin loincloth because why wouldn't you? Oh, and he's wearing it at the carnival, because where else would you wear it? Uh, and I wonder if, um, he might have even taken it from this guy right here. I don't know, seems, seems unlikely. He's probably been wearing it for a while. But, um, that's something you don't see too much of, is, uh, Martians attacking a carnival. Obviously, it was, um, the first, uh, issue or so of the, um, uh, IDW comics, but, um, that's quite literally another story, and it's gonna be a while before we get to that. Card number three is called Frozen by Fate. And, um, so obviously it's a Martian saucer using Frost Ray. These guys in the uh, foreground here are trying to escape it. I'm not giving them much chance of uh, survival. It's an okay card. Um,. Personally, I think, especially if you're going to put it in a um, chase set, something that's hard to track down, harder to locate, I, I, I would really like to see at least one good Martian per card. But um, but it is well done, and, you know, the um, Frost Ray has been around since uh, card set number one, so it is a bit of classic, so can't argue with it too much. Um, this was uh, painted by um, somebody going by the name of uh, San Julian, and... Um, Obviously, they do have some uh, talent here, some very nice, realistic uh, people there. Like I said, I just wish there was a Martian in frame. But if you want Martians, you got next card here, the um, 
Martian Menace by Jeff Muricola. And again, a very nice card. Um, see the um, giant insects in the b insects in the background. Uh, this guy here looking very much like that uh, Mezco figure that I've shown off. It's even got the same um, funny shaped uh, ray gun that nobody knows what to do with. Bring him in for some detail on the Martian. Nicely done. I do like him. And the last but not least, Facing the Apocalypse by Ed Repka. Now, Ed Repka, as I said, um, him and uh, Ron Spears both contributed to uh, Mars Attacks Invasion. And so he also gets a card in the um, subset here. It's a nice card. I mean, nothing, nothing special, nothing spectacular. It's just a Martian face, but it's a very, very well done Martian face. And um, that kind of brings me to my problem with uh, this subset, which is that it's a good subset, don't get me wrong, the cards are all very well made, but I, I don't get a feel for it, I don't, I don't see what sets it apart from anything else. Any one of these cards could have just been a regular card in the Mars Attacks Invasion. All the other subsets, all the other um, chase cards have their own theme and have their own feel and have their own reason why you would go out of your way to collect them all. Uh, these these are nice, but they're pretty generic. In fact, uh, we'll put this one side by side with a card called the Face of Invasion. This is card number 94 of Mars Attacks Invasion. So, uh, yeah, this comes from the same card set, and you can say it's essentially the same card. Uh, different artist, obviously, with a different style, but uh, both just a large Martian face um, on top of a, a red sky background. And so there's a, a definite feeling of deja vu. I got this card already. You know, I, I searched through until I found this one. I said, oh, that's what I was thinking of. Um, I'm also not entirely sure why they're called masterpieces. Like I said, um, some of the uh, artists doing this didn't even work on Mars Attacks previously, and so I don't know what, how this is their masterpiece. Um, going back to card one, Underwater Slaughter. It's a very nice card, but um, here's an example of art by the same artist from the main uh, card series. This is uh, card number three, Buckingham Massacre. Um, I don't know, is, is one significantly better than the other? Would you be able to tell me which one is the masterpiece? Well, this one's got a lady in a bikini, so it gets a couple extra points, I guess. But, um, you know, this one's got a better shot of the Martians. Now, that being said, I don't want to sound negative, because uh, it is a decent card set. It does fill in uh, one of the gaps in your uh, Mars Attacks Invasion um, collection. And most importantly, it's relatively inexpensive. I got mine for, like, five bucks and change plus shipping, and for five cards, that's not bad at all. So I'm not coming down on this. I, I definitely recommend it if you're a uh, Mars Attacks collector, especially if you already have the main um, card set. But um, but on its on its own, it's, it's probably the least impressive of the chase sets. But that only means that they're going to get better from here on out. So you got that to look forward to. So guys, this has been the uh, Starving Martian. Hopefully you enjoyed this look at Mars Attacks Masterpieces. And until next time, keep watching the skies.